Hello and welcome back. This is Shop Adventures 39. My name is Lance and slightly to my left is... My name's Patrick. All right. Are you <laughs> kidding us? If we had to behave like that, I, I'd probably pop. Yeah? I think we've been working too hard. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like we're all wore out and tired or something. I thought I was trying out for one of them radio DJ jobs, you know. <laughs> That's not us. Uh, no, it's not going to be either. <laughs> no. It was worth a try. <laughs> we're still laughing about it. <laughs> okay. Well, we got some excitement this week. We can get over. Um, yeah, we got some neat, neat gifts. Oh yeah, yeah, couple, yeah, we couple of packages. Two packages. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Want to do the first one? Yeah. Okay, this is. Oh, we're gonna do the. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. The, this was nice. We Ooh. received these. This is a really nice surprise. Nice quality. Yeah, look at that. Uh -huh. I, we do love our T-shirts. So yeah, we do. Thank you so much, they Randy. They go to use here. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, look at that. RR in the shop. Yeah. That's really great. Yeah. I heard some guy, really supposed to be a pretty nice guy, runs that channel or something. It's a YouTube channel, right? Remember, he's supposed to be some kind of really nice guy or something. Oh, he is really nice. And I think the quality of my shirt's a little better than yours. Yeah. He always uh, like... Maybe I'll take back him being nice. Then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Okay, the next. This was a surprise. I didn't see this coming. Actually, he did message me about it. No, but I just never saw what what's, what what it is. Be a, I never saw this coming our way. Something oh like no, no 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 no! And we haven't opened it. So no, to... you get to see what we get to see. Yeah, we like a... doing that here, huh? We like to be a surprise too. But it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to while well, he hates. Oh no, he loves. It's hard for one of us. He <laughs> loves to open them boxes. Big. Come on, hold on. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, it has some weight to it. Easy, easy. Oh, you've waited so long. <laughs> A few weeks now. An eternity. <laughs> yeah, an hour's an eternity for you. <laughs> Packaged well. Yeah, very well. Which we really appreciate that. Hey, you're getting down careful there. What do we got? Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Ooh. Yeah, it looks better in real than it does. Oh, you've seen, huh? I've seen a picture of it. So yeah, I, I didn't. cheated, but it's. I didn't is, see it. But it is really nice. Uh, but it is, it's a clock. What oh, it actually is. It's got hands. And... Let's see if I can show it. See, and then you've got the movement. What's nice, it even has, it must have an alarm because it has a bell mechanism. Oh, Look at that. And it looks like it has two mainsprings, maybe one mainsprings for the alarm and one's for the clock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this is really interesting. You know, you know being watchmakers, We've always focused on uh, watch movement and which pocket are, watch movement. Which we don't get to see parts this big. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, we've worked on clocks here and there, but not really very often. And um, as we're Pocket getting, watches a lot too. Yeah, yeah, pocket watches. But yeah, but as we're getting older, we're actually, I'm actually, personally, I'm actually taking a liking to clocks. Maybe because of the parts are larger. <laughs> and um yeah, and this is really nice. I go, wow, you know, this would make a really nice project. Oh, yeah, you know, it's got a hinge right here. See it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So maybe thinking, you know, this would be a great restoration project where you know we could probably make like some type of a housing with some feet or something. Oh yeah, something you unique know? to us. Yeah, something. Maybe even some glass so you can see the movement. That's better. Yeah, so, I, li I like to see this. Yeah, thing. but whatever, whatever we do, that's going to be a project we'll share definitely. Oh yeah, for with sure. everybody. Down so, the road a little bit, but we can do some planning and talking. We like yeah. to talk a lot about all that stuff.
Yeah, so aren't those close-up photos great? Really shows the details. And God, this is going to be so nice after it's restored. So we really appreciate it, Joe. We're really going to put a lot of effort into this and share it with, with everybody. And that's Joe from Raptor Machine and Tool Company. Joe's a really nice guy. Got a great channel worth checking out. He's been really fixing up his shop. Yeah, he has. Yeah. yeah, really nice. And he's a really good guy. Yeah, yeah. he's really nice. Great. Even I wouldn't be that nice to us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have some tools in front of me. Came from Patrick's secret stash. Yeah, <laughs> these actually came from an old friend of ours. He was a watchmaker and he retired. They're balance wheel truing calipers. Right. And you'd use these, actually. Um, you wouldn't use this one. No, but we do have a, we have sets that we currently still use today. Yeah, yeah and these are right. these are uh, these are museum pieces now. This one I'm gonna totally restore. And so what we'll do is when we get it all done, and I've done my magic here, and you've improved it, we'll uh, we'll we'll come back and show you a finished product. Oh, and we can show a before and after, too. And I'll show you how it works. That's Don't right. you guys like that? Let We're me show you all these. I'd like to show you how these tools work when, yeah. we, when we can. Sure. So there you go. That's really neat, isn't it? Yeah, really neat. Well, if you've been following along with us, you'll know that we've been rebuilding spindles. Yeah. And, uh, That's for sure. It's a it's a nice project for us. We're actually, these are our first educational videos, and we're hoping to notice they're called videos and not shows. <laughs> yeah. This is a show. Those are videos. And it's, and it's really nice, you know. There's, there was so so much. There's so much knowledge uh, that we put in over the years to learn how to do this, and it's really nice to sh share it with with everybody now. This is yeah. This is something we're able to do on on YouTube that yeah. our mentors could not do, and That's we right. said that we were going to do this before we were unable to do it anymore. That's right. That's what this is really all about, and these these videos are really fantastic. And we're going to add, I heard rumor, <laughs> because I got a lot of demanded personal emails, and I cannot believe I did, we really did, Yeah. about that Barker Mill and the fact that we're going to do the two spindles, and we were going to start with the two spindles anyway. Right. Right. But take over from there, because you have a lot more details than I do, but they're going to get an exciting, exciting, exciting treatment that I didn't once think they were going to get. Okay, well, one of the nice things is, I mean, the timing's just perfect, because... I guess a few of the comments in regards to our spindle rebuild videos has been, do we know anything about tapered roller bearings? And we thought, well, guy, that's actually coming up. So what we're gonna do is, okay, as you know, part of our spindle rebuild series, we got subparts, which are subparts A through D. Yeah, four subparts for the different Levin spindle types. It is. Well, we're gonna add two additional subparts. An E and an F, I guess. D E F. That's right. Wow, that's and, a lot. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of... <laughs> this is this has been a lot of work, but we have a lot of passion for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to get everything prepared for the lesson. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of work. But anyway, so what we decided to do is, okay, the Barker, you know, has a horizontal spindle and has a vertical spindle, so. Each of those spindles is going to get its own subpart. And they're two uniquely different bearing types, aren't they? That's right. The horizontal uses tapered roller bearings, but the vertical actually uses super precision deep groove bearings. And that's really good. It's really a good couple of yeah. additional flavors we want to add to this video series because... And they're bigger. <laughs> yeah, they're bigger. You're going to see it really nice big. Film. Yeah. <laughs> What's really nice is, you know, on the vertical spindle, you know, it uses the pair of deep groove bearings. They're super precision, by the way. Means they're eight. I think we upgraded. Oh, yeah, we hopped it up. It's like yeah, a hop ride. Up. But um, that's really nice to a lot of people because a lot of the bent milling machines out there have that same configuration. Yeah, it's got the quill and everything. Yeah. It's just what it does. And it's use the, yeah, and use those type of bearings. So we thought, wow, well, you know, this will really enhance the spindle rebuild video series. I think it'll be a good addition. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to cover it. It's just, it, it just an accident. It just so yeah. happens that Barker starts its assembly in August. That's and the spindles true. had to be first anyway. Yeah. That'll put it about right. 
it'll probably put it about right, and yeah. it'll be the spindles that we start with, and we just it just it's just a fluke. We are yeah, not that good at planners. No, it just the timing's perfect. It's amazing. Yeah. So we're hoping you're enjoying this this uh, uh, adventure here as we go into spindles a little bit and some educational videos. There'll be others in the future and and stuff, but uh, yeah, please be patient while we wrap up the spindle rebuild videos for the shop adventures or yeah, suffering for the shop a little bit from yeah. It. But um, after that series is done, then we'll be back with Shop Adventures with a lot of activity. Including, and I can now say, oh, please. I am going to finally share, start sharing from that pencil sketch, our first product with you. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take that pencil sketch, I'm gonna give it to Patrick. I want a perfect cat drawing, something I can use, a blueprint, and we will start making prototypes and testing materials, and you are going to not miss one bit of the build of this little assembly yeah. product. Every bolt, Nut, screw, little pin. We will be making every, every single, single part. part will be made right here on these machines as soon as we can get these spindles rebuilt. Yeah. Not the barker. We don't need the barker to do this. We yes. need the levens. Yeah, so especially people that like to see, you know, the making of little teeny parts, especially little tiny screws and all that. Yeah. You're going to see all that. And specialized and, finishes on some of the screws. Yeah. And some really high skill talent you're going to see us. That we're yeah. real proud of and we hope you hope you we'll, you'll appreciate it as much yeah. as we do well that's why we've been putting all this effort into the restoration oh, work, yeah. trying to get all our equipment up to par you know in perfect condition i'm going to ask it to do a lot of work yeah we're going to really a lot push of really these tough, machines. little tough work there yeah. yeah so okay so just wanted to share that and i think that's i think that's absolutely everything today isn't it i think so yeah we covered let's see the barker our, our uh, the mail call. We got the two packages. We did the museum piece and yeah pieces. Pieces. I was yeah. surprised you coughed up that much. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. Uh, anyway, so, that's no, good. great. We're good. So um, I guess we're going to show some highlights. Oh, we're going to show some highlights because we're going to release a couple more videos this week. That's right. Our goal this week is to release part three and part 3A. And part 3A is specific to the Levin accessory spindle. Yep. And that's a spindle that's used by Levin on the grinding attachment, milling attachment, micro drill attachment, the drill press. Oh, you get it. It's used a lot. It's a little, the tiniest it's spindle. It's a popular, a popular tool in this shop for sure. Yeah, definitely. So okay. we're gonna show some highlights of that. That'll be and, nice. Yeah, and um, that'll do it. That'll do it. Thanks for joining us. We're having fun. We hope you are too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, it's that time. It's sticker shout out time. Yay. We like stickers. Oh, yeah. We, like, we have them now, so now we really like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we have our stickers, too. Oh, yeah. uh, hey, a uh, little code word here. I got to put a secret code. Oh, I'm just full of secrets, aren't I? <laughs> shout out, Arizona Territory. Norm, thank you very much. It's in the mail. We thank you for that very dearly. Yes. All right. Thank you. Well... You want to open, uh, you got one. I hear it's quite a famous, uh, famous uh, envelope there. I actually recognize this envelope. It's a world famous. It is. I saw it on Instagram. I don't know. Oh, is that how you knew? Okay. Because yeah. I was going to say, he doesn't care about anything but boxes around <laughs> yeah, here. Because but... I've never seen this. He, he, he only brings these when we're ready to shoot this. Yeah, we don't open them till yeah. then. Yeah. And I go, I recognize this envelope. Yeah. And you know, because he had on Instagram, because he had a pile of these envelopes of stickers he was going to send out, and ours was on top. Oh, you recognize yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Pretty cool. Yeah. His name oh. Is, oh, go ahead and open that. So I actually know who it's from. Oh, you do know yeah. who it is. And you know what they look like. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my. Not as, not as mysterious as they usually are. <laughs> oh, nice little letter. Yeah, for those that, that don't know, um, I'm the Instagram person, and Lance is the YouTube person. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, and Facebook. And Facebook. Yeah, yeah, he does the Instagram. Hi, Lance and Patrick. Just wanted to say uh, say you guys are great. Wow, thank you, Joe. Thank you. This is uh, Joe's workshop, by the way. He does restorations, and he's really good at it. Yeah. Down in Florida. Mm -hmm. I enjoy and appreciate your willingness to share your expertise with the YouTube world. Your content is excellent. Keep up the great content. Cheers, Joe. Wow, that is really nice, Joe. Thank you so much. Thank we love you. these, by the way. Look at this. Look, yeah, at, look at these. We like tools. Yeah. <laughs> I really like these custom die cut. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice, Joe. Yeah. Yep. Great. Go see Joe because he's pretty cool and he does nice risk. He actually does really neat restoration work and I yeah. kind of like it. Great. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Yes. We're ready to assemble 11 accessory spindle. The day has finally come. 
Yeah, this is the great part because, you know, this is where we disassemble a spindle. We've, we've cleaned all the parts. We've put the most beautiful lacquer paint job on earth. Oh, especially on the headstock. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the fun part. This is where you put in all the hard work and now we can assemble everything with the new bearings. And we're on the road to perfection or as near yeah. as we can get. Yep. See, just like you preach. That's right. See. So very important. Yeah, when you buy your bearings, don't get all excited and open up the packaging because they're airtight and you want to keep them that way until we're ready to install them. We don't want any outside foreign objects. Yeah. That's right. Just like this. Can just eye it. Uh, go a little more than you think. Okay, that should be good enough, just like that. Can I share what happens at the end here when you've got your little bearings and you got your balls and you got your you know your raceways and, and, and it's sure. spreading out and spreading out? It goes to one really final spot before that's all it's gonna do until it falls out somewhere. All right. And that's that it's going to go into the fabric reinforced phenolic resin bearing cage that brown light dark kind of brown colored thing in there or looks reddish yeah reddish right here okay that's that's it's actually a fabric material and that's going to absorb some of that grease and that's that's our last frontier that keeps that all nice and lubricated and that's what makes that an advanced bearing over those metal cage types or anything like that right i hope we've got all that right that's right <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing is making sure I'm getting the grease around the ball bearings and in the raceways. It shows real well, so. Okay, I'm just being very liberal and I just want to do this really nice and slowly. So for this part, we're just, we just want to focus on the marking on the inside race. So what we want to do is, so it's right here facing me. Okay. And I want to align that with the witness mark we made on the spindle. Okay, remember, the witness mark is facing me. Okay, so and both... so is that internal one there. That's right. So we want to be sure they're perfectly aligned with each other. So you're putting the high width over the low. That's right. And hopefully that cancels each other out. And try so that, to get those tolerances better. Right? Absolutely. Perfect. Hang on really carefully. Thank you. This one's actually easier because, see we put our, insert our felt ring right there. Okay, and this actually just goes right on top. So the diameter of the die is not critical at all. So I just selected one that just covers the entire part like that. That's good and safe. Yeah, so that's good and safe. And again, you know, make sure you don't have a big hole right here. See, mine's, my internal hole is small enough where it still adequately covers, you know, this whole surface Anywhere area. that ring's gonna go, exactly. yeah. Exactly. As watchmakers and micro machinists, Patrick and I thank you for following along with us while we take this journey. We look forward to bringing you another exciting show shortly.